comment saying that we value yeah. you only for your ad revenue. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just me. The rest of the guys actually <laughs> like you. But. There goes all five of my subs. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to ElderGeek.com. <laughs> I can't, it's, this is why no one comes on the podcast anymore. <laughs> it's just... well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that three out of four of us wearing a shirt that says plop on it kind of signifies we are Shameless to sell shilling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, at least we're shilling something that most of our viewers can't actually buy. So it's not that bad, I guess. So we're mocking them. Yes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish? Yes. You could have all this. Also, I enjoy Walker's shortbread. This... It's true, this I do. This the most we've poured out in a long time. I feel good about this episode. <laughs> Terry's Chocolate Orange. I don't know. Hot I, food right you know, here. The, the funny thing is, like, Terry's Chocolate Orange, I get these around Christmas all the time, and I'm actually completely sick of them. Apparently, you guys in the US really love these things. They get imported from Canada every year. They're the best. Oh, no, man. We had bars of these things. Like, you could just buy a chocolate orange bar, and you could just eat it, and you could get it every day. And we used to regularly eat these things to the point where I'm completely sick of chocolate orange. But the so. circular ones, you get to like pop open like an orange and then you take off but all they the don't, slight But they don't pop open though, you have to well, smash them like off the table. That seems like a lie, I'm not saying. Hey, so, Shocks, please. little story, uh, in the UK, Terry's fell afoul of advertising and consumer protection rules because these little packets, you know, this is what a chocolate orange comes in, you know, and uh -huh. there used to be this sticker on the top, which I, I ripped and you can't read, but it used to say, tap and unwrap. Now it was it was determined that it was in fact impossible to break open a chocolate orange with anything close to a tap. Ergo, they had to rebrand it "whack and unwrap" because that was the only thing that worked. It doesn't run. Not effective. No, yeah, it does. Well, tap Whack and, and attack. Yeah. That works. Attack and unwrap. Now that sounds like a wonderful thing. <laughs> whack and attack. Yeah. Although I have to say. They did release something quite recently, which I believe are Terry's Chocolate Orange Sensations, which are like six different kinds in smaller things. There's ones with the, you know, the popping candy? They put that inside a chocolate orange. It's, popping candy? Yeah. You know, the, the stuff that like you put in your orange. mouth and then pop it kind of pops? Oh. Sort of, yeah. Oh, oh okay. It was, yes. was kind of wonderful. So, yeah, they did those and all sorts of wonderful things like that. Ah. <sighs> Well, Chris, Christmas is over, and I think we've stuffed down all of these horrible things, and now I have to go back on a proper diet. I don't feel so well right now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! You stuffed down the boost too quickly and then chased it with Hold Iron on. Brew. 